Davies, recognized for his question. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and thank you, witnesses, for your appearance and your testimony and, and your answers to questions. Um, can any of you advise me if the uh, Common Core initiative is at all tied in with the new STEM programs you propose? Thank you for the question. Our, um, our proposals at the, in the uh, COSTEM strategic plan are very general, and they aim for quality instruction at K through 12 and aim for improved undergraduate education, graduate fellowships, and um, groups that have traditionally been underrepresented with STEM along with engagement. So they don't speak directly to the Common Core initiatives. Okay. Doctor? I agree with my colleague's testimony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Likewise. All right, so there is no connection whatsoever to the proposed STEM programs in the Common Core Initiative. We agree just unequivocally. I, I'm going to say a little bit more then on this point. The Common Core Initiative is, um, is, a, is an activity underway in parts of the country. And so as, um, as these investments move forward, that will be something, um, at least for the National Science Foundation, that we are um, interested in understanding what is the impact of an, uh, of an effort um, initiated by states to make for Common Core standards. But it is not a direct part of this reorg. Let, let me add uh, one, one further point. Uh, at education, under the FY14 budget proposal of the President, there would be uh, $265 million focused on STEM instruction. And obviously, in the framework of, uh, of that focus, uh, clearly, uh, the questions of the effectiveness of the core curriculum uh, will come into play. The other thing I would mention uh, that's germane as to what would go on in the Department of Education uh, under the proposed reorganization is a set of uh, STEM innovation networks which would connect uh, schools, businesses, national laboratories, universities, to work on the most effective ways to lift our game collaboratively and collectively in STEM education. And again, in that context, uh, clearly uh, the uh, core curriculum issues would arise. Okay, so we've gone from three no's to two yeses. And, uh, well, I, th I think, Congressman, with respect, the point was that the strategic plan does not address that issue in detail but the budget provides for substantial resources in programs that uh, clearly would incorporate uh, uh, certainly looking at and understanding uh, the benefits uh, as well as any liabilities of the various approaches that are out there. Well, I, I, I think you've set forth the STEM programs uh, pretty forthright, and it seems like the Common Core Initiative uh, is already beginning to morph. And there's a lot of uncertainty about uh, where it's going to end up. I noticed uh, $5 million for a new STEM office at the Department of Education. And I wondered if you could give me four or five examples of successful uh, departments in the Department of Education that we would like this new one to emulate. I, I think you probably need a witness from the Department of Education uh, up here to provide uh, to provide that sort of list, uh, but I think, you know, I mean, I would certainly say that um, the, uh, the Invest in Innovation Grant uh, program at the Department of Education uh, has been uh, very successful. Uh, it has uh, funded a variety of programs that are increasing uh, participation, increasing success rates. Um, the Pell Grant program has been very successful. There's good research that shows that the Pell Grant program has uh, very substantially uh, affected the number of people going to college. Uh, folks who otherwise would not have been able to go to college uh, have been able to do so under the Pell Grant program. I think you know, the Department of Education uh, occasionally comes in for uh, 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 something of a beating uh, in, in, in some of these contexts. But in fact, I think uh, there are some great successes in the department. But its own representative might be a better and more effective spokesperson uh, for that. Well, do, do anyone have any idea how many employees we have at the Department of Education now? Uh, 
I assume that you do. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I would guess probably 35, 40,000 people over there, you know, looking for a job description every day, but I'm, I don't know. And, uh, we can obviously get you that number. Okay. Thank you. I yield back. Uh, thank you.